I talk about e-rigs a lot because I feel it's one of the best ways to get into concentrates, especially if you want to start dabbing. I feel like just telling somebody to go get a torch is kind of wild. Some people already have one and they don't mind the setup, but as years go on, I'm like, you know what? I'm recommending the torch less and less and I'm recommending more electronic devices because you know what? You just got less chance of hurting yourself and maybe burning your house down. But people are still gonna be using torches, no big deal. But if you're looking for an e-rig, I got you. I made a tier list not too long ago talking about best and worst e-rigs. I've tried over 20 e-rigs. I'm gonna be trying more in the future. But I'm here to talk about the best cheap electronic device for concentrates. Because I've said many times before, like the Peak Pro is the best one but it's the most expensive it really is at the end of the day the best one but it's the most expensive not everybody's trying to drop ps5 money just to get high now if you've tuned into my twitch streams or you checked out some channels i have on other platforms you've probably seen me use this guy or talk about this guy i used to have a video here let's find the rubber for it gotta keep it safe here i have the crossing core 2.1 i actually believe it's the 2.2 because of the atomizer they have a 3d atomizer they call the 2.2 there is a crossing core 2.0 which i believe has a buildable atomizer but i like the the simplicity of the 2.1 and 2.2 and the price on it is really cheap i don't think i can link the actual site but go check out discount emails and use code coupons now, i actually have a few different tops for this and i wanted to talk about the tops before we show you the hit almost every e-rig out there i hate the default glass even the puffco it's like a little cone a lot of them have modeled their mouthpiece or their glass after the puffco so you're getting a lot of cones i got a lot of glass cones behind me this one does a better job with the default glass they give you kind of a mouthpiece but i still don't like this straight down approach all e-rigs have this straight down approach which kind of makes you want to do this and if you don't want to do that you might tilt it and all the other glass i have it has a lazy neck or a curved neck that tilts back towards you which provides a more natural hit. So I didn't like this one because I felt like I had to top lip it or wrench my neck. Uh, but let's show you how this hits. I believe it has four temperatures, blue, green, white, red. I'm actually not sure what the four temperatures are, but hear me out. Hear me out when I say this on most E-Rigs, there it doesn't matter a lot of these when they're like red is 300 blue is they there it's usually a guess and they're not even close like not every e-rig device that says it's going to give you a 500 degree chamber is giving you one the numbers almost don't matter for me i could look them up uh did i look it up okay it says uh the lowest one blue 400 green 425 white 465 red 4 500 this one does 80 second hits you don't need an 80 second hit but most of these devices out here do 20 second hits which is it's not a dab that's how you do a glowy this one you can actually get nice low temp hits out of all right let's load one in there i got some nice uh nice blue zushi rosin we're gonna be taking a look at today i'm gonna whip this up a little bit uh i can't remember the last time i used this and there's a dab in the chamber <laughs> there's a dab in the chamber um oh this is gonna be flavorless and possibly not enjoyable let's dab it highest setting i usually go on the white setting and I sometimes cut the hit off before the 80 seconds. It's not super customizable like another device, but this thing is a workhorse. It it does really great hits. It's got a metallic body. It's solid. It's easy to work with. You can pop off the chamber around the atomizer. Charges USB-C. It does a decent amount of hits. There's a reason I say this is the best cheap e-rig. I've used other things in a similar price range, but this is by far the best. Other things that have more customization, more temperature options, they're not as good as this guy. Now, in the past, I have said if you're in the market, and you're not trying to get a puff code, don't get a card or maybe get one of these. I did hear the card has been updated a little bit through the app, so I'm going to try that soon. But let's take a rip. Okay, I probably, sh I probably should not have done that. Oh, God, that was so... Uh, I literally don't know how long that dab was sitting in that chamber. I, I, pro I probably should have done that. Look, all right, that's not the best representation of it. Look, oh, God, that was, that was, that was not enjoying that. Oh, God. Like the first thing to go on a dab is the flavor. So they do have a few other options for the glass. All of these fit on the core. This one, it probably has the, the best water contact and percolation. But it's so heavy. It makes it top heavy, which I don't like. Uh, this one is a nice recycler, but it's just like, it's so intricate. It's kind of hard to clean. But the pull on it is nice and tight and you get a really smooth hit when you're pulling it. This one is very simple. Just a little grenade top. You know, I think I have another one. Oh, I forgot about this one. 
All right, let me put some water in this guy. I actually forgot I had so many tops for it. This one might be the best one. It has the matrix perk on it. This one I like because it's so small, but the perk on it's kind of simple. You don't get the best water contact. But this one, I, I like it, but it's so, it's so heavy. It's so tall, it's so heavy. I feel like it's ready to fall over. This one, not so much. Maybe a little worse than one of the other ones, but pretty cool. I'll show you guys some other features. I've probably made videos on this before and had to delete them, but we're going to just leave this one up. It's got a metallic body. It's got a little silicone sleeve. Charges USB-C. It's got a decent battery life compared to some other things. All right, I'm going to get some blue Zushi on the white temperature setting, which uh, what was the number it said? 465 degrees. Yeah, we'll see. Let's get a nice one. Don't forget to sip before you rip. Let's see what kind of clouds we can get here. Ooh, it's 420 over here this thing actually rips the atomizer on it does a really good job meaning that it's not just some really hot piece of ceramic that cleans itself you actually have a nice atomizer like the puffco or the carta that you can wipe off it's not as deep it's not as big the cap is a little bit weird but it works it's got this little chamber around the atomizer that makes it a little bit easier to clean they have atomizer options i showed you a few glass options there's even more that i don't have and it's pretty low cost this thing's been around for a little while i think I think they might be doing some upgrades or a new version soon i know they've dropped some atomizer and glass options but this is not a very popular device there's tons of devices out there that look like a puffco they say they're as good and and they're just trash but this you can actually get some high quality hits on and you're not gonna break the bank so on my tier list i did rank this pretty high because for the price you try to get something slightly cheaper it's like five percent as good as this there's things that cost twice as much that aren't half as good as this so I definitely had to get this video out here and if you're looking for a spot to chill when you sesh, come join us on Twitch.